Hello, it's Oksana, and this is going to be my video about juicing, and I'm super excited to tell you about it because it's something that I've been really, really enjoying. And basically how it started is I've always known about juicing and I'm my friends that do it. Basically what it means is you juice um, sometimes fruit, but typically it's vegetables and you drink the vegetable juice. And when I actually tried it when I visited my mom, because she has a juicer and I don't, um, that's when I got to see see what it would be like, and I really enjoyed it, and I think it made me feel uh, better, it made me feel, <laughs> gave me a little boost drinking um, the vegetable juices. So I saw noticeable results, and I really enjoyed it, and I thought, this is something that I should do now when I get home. So I went ahead and I ordered a juicer, and I'm going to show you a clip of... Um, the juicer itself and perhaps maybe <laughs> me using it but the brand of it is called Dash and I'm gonna leave a link below to the exact one I bought I bought it on Best Buy's website so I'll just leave you a link um, that may not be the cheapest place to buy it they were having a really good sale where it was like 50% off so at that time it was good but I think now the price is back up so perhaps it's a little cheaper elsewhere but that is the juicer that I have and there's two types um, I think the first type is called centrifugal, um, and it's really, really quick. Um, the blades uh, spin around really quick, and you just throw the fruits or veggies in there, and it just <laughs> it goes very fast. So the one I got is actually different than that. It's also called a slow juicer, um, but what the technical name for it is it's a masticating juicer. I believe if I'm pronouncing that correctly. So that one more like chews up the vegetables. So it's a little slower, but I read that it's better. I read that it preserves the nutrients better. It squeezes more juice, especially if you're doing a lot of like leafy greens. It's a little bit more effective for that. Um, and by slow, it's not really all that slow. It's just not like you throw a vegetable in there and it's like instant. You know, you just wait a little bit, but it's not... You know, it's not that slow overall. Um, it's just slow comparing to the other one. The other type is actually the kind that my mom had. They're a little bit cheaper. I think she got like the cheapest one. It was like $35 at Walmart or something. So you could just do that. This doesn't have to be an expensive sort of thing. But the one I got, um, it's usually $200, but it was $99 um, at Best Buy. So that's where I got it. I, I've actually seen it on Amazon for like $79, I think. So... I'm not sure if it was like exactly the same. It looks the same. <laughs> so that's the one that I have. And then I wanted to tell you a little bit about um, juicing, like the actual things that you juice and how all of that works and give you my two cents. So keep in mind that this is just my thoughts and my opinion and kind of how I decided to go about it. I'm not at all... Um, saying anything bad or criticizing other ways of going about it. I'm just letting you know how it works for me and why I do what I do. So if you want to juice, you know, different kind of things in me, that's totally, totally fine. Um, cause I just, I don't want to offend anybody. I don't juice, like some people feel very strongly about it and like juicing kale and things like that. And that's something that I actually don't do. I don't juice kale. So I'm going to tell you why. Um, and, and I'm not saying it's bad. <laughs> I'm just saying why I personally chose not to do it. So the reason I was hesitant to juice in the first place is because I had read, um, this was actually in regards to fruit, that juicing fruit is not necessarily the best way to eat your fruit because it concentrates all the sugar. There's quite a bit of sugar in fruit, um, mostly fructose. Um, and it's really not that great for you. There's been a lot of studies showing the negative effects of fructose um, on your mind and on your body. And so drinking it in this concentrated kind of form is not necessarily the best thing um, I decided for me. And I have also read that when you eat a fruit, the flesh and the fiber and all of that, that is, you know, on, in a whole fruit, it kind of helps you process it a little bit differently than drinking just the straight up juice that has a lot of that fructose sugar. This kind of helps it um, not have as as negative of an effect of the fructose when you eat the whole uh, fruit. So that's why that's what I tend to do. And in terms of vegetables, so vegetables are a different story because they, for the most part, don't have a ton of sugar. Carrots 
um, have a little bit more than some of the other vegetables. So that's something, I do juice carrots, but it's not, I don't make like strictly carrot juice and drink a lot of carrot juice. I will include like one or two small carrots in my juice, but um, I kind of keep it at that. And so what is the benefit of juicing? Why should you do it? Why can't you just eat your vegetables and that's it? So first of all, you may not um, love vegetables and be able to eat lots and lots of vegetables, which is kind of the case for me. I'm not really a huge vegetable lover. There are some things that I like, um, but actually most vegetables I don't really like the way they taste cooked. Like I like carrots, but I hate cooked carrots. And that's kind of the case. It was the same with tomatoes and like a lot of other things. And that's great. You know, I can eat fresh veggies, but usually you're having a meal and it's easy if the vegetables are part of the meal where they mostly, unless it's a salad, they're usually cooked, but it's hard for me to do that because there's just so many <laughs> vegetables that I don't like um, cooked. And so I have a hard time eating my veggies. I try to kind of force down salads. Usually if you have a good dressing, that kind of makes salads a little bit easier to eat, but you have to be wary because of course the dressings that taste good sometimes can have not so good ingredients and can have sugars and things that kind of undoes the healthiness of the salad. So um, I was just looking for a good way to eat my veggies basically. And even if you are already good at eating your veggies, what I had read, and this is kind of what convinced me that this was something that I wanted to do was that now um, the vegetables and the fruit as well have a lot less nutrients than they did say 100 years ago because our earth is increasingly becoming depleted and all of those nutrients so they just don't have as much. In order to get um, all of your nutrients and kind of this condensed version where you're getting more of them um, would be to juice your vegetables because if you were to eat the amount of vegetables that you juiced um, you would most likely have a difficult time just eating that many because all that fiber you're filling up on it and you're getting quite full and you're just not able to eat that much so you can still eat um, whole vegetables but then also drink the juice and that kind of compensates and makes it so you're getting more of those vitamins and nutrients. So that's why I do it and that's kind of um, what I believe and what got me on this path. And now I want to talk about some actual examples of some actual vegetables that I um, am a little bit careful about because I want to warn you guys, I have read some negative things um, now that juicing is becoming really popular, people are juicing a lot of, you know, one thing, like a lot of kale, for example, and you're just drinking and drinking tons and tons of kale juice. Um, and I'm not saying that is bad for everybody. I'm just saying that maybe something that you want to be a little cautious about because um, kale as well as spinach and some other leafy greens, I'm sorry, but I wrote down a few things here so I wouldn't forget to tell you that's what I'm looking down. Um, so um, they have some things in them which can cause um, gall and kidney stones um, as well as gout and kale especially has been linked to hyper, um, hyperthyroidism. <laughs> Um, and especially if you are susceptible to that and you may have thyroid problems, you may not even know it, and then you start drinking lots of kale juice that might kind of push you over the edge and cause those problems to surface. So that is something that I do not um, use a lot of. I will include a little bit because I think, you know, they do have some benefits and they're good vegetables, but I'm not... Um, over, you know, doing it on those. Another thing that's interesting about juice is even though your initial um, feeling might be to just drink it normally, you actually want to chew it and swish it around in your mouth a little bit because that helps get your stomach um, to produce stomach acid and just be ready to digest and assimilate all those nutrients. So ideally, you would be drinking the vegetable juice on an empty stomach and you would be kind of chewing it a little bit to give yourself that, um, you know, advantage. And then further to help your body absorb all the nutrients, 
from the vegetable juice, you want to have it with a little bit of a healthy fat because some vitamins are actually fat soluble and it'll really help your body absorb it. So um, what I do is I'll just have like a spoonful of coconut oil. Um, if you don't mind the taste, you can add a little bit of, of something like that to the actual juice or you can just have it separately, uh, whatever you feel works for you. And I think coconut oil is a great oil. Um, there's, you know, lots of other choices. I heard of uh, people using flax seeds, adding that to their juice. Um, make sure that they're, you know, ground up, but there's flaxseed oil in them. So there's lots of different ways to do it. So the vegetables that I like to juice, this is what I typically do, is I typically do cucumbers. I will include a little bit of carrots in there. I will include some celery and this is all also produces a pretty mild juice it's not going to be like the strong gross taste um, to me anyways I will include some greens I buy this pack of mixed greens from Whole Foods that I, I think I've seen in Target as well and they're just organic um, greens it's like a salad and they have a few different mixtures I think they have one that's like 50 50 spinach and lettuces but the one I buy I think is just called baby lettuces and it has it does have a little bit of spinach and a little bit of kale in there but it just has a lot of different lettuces gourmet lettuce I think um, and just, just a nice mixture so I'm getting lots of different ones um, sometimes I'll have ones with herbs in there as well. Uh, parsley is a good one to add to juicing. But with herbs, they're a little bit stronger. So you don't want to be adding like a ton of herbs. You just add a little bit and that should be good enough. And especially because they tend to have stronger taste to them. Some um, herbs. And you want to be careful and read a little bit about, I know parsley is generally pretty safe if you just use a little bit. Cilantro, I know if you do, um, if you overdo it with cilantro, that tends to detoxify your body from heavy metals especially, which initially sounds like it's good. But what it actually does is it moves, it can actually penetrate the brain barrier to get, you know, um, heavy metal toxins out of there as well. But it it basically gets them moving. They're deposited in your body and it loosens them up and gets them moving. So now they're flowing through your body, flowing in your bloodstream. And that may sound like a good thing, but they're not necessarily getting out of your body. They might be getting redeposited in other places if you don't take um, additional things that will actually absorb and make those leave your body, like chlorella, for example. So it may not be a good thing to do a lot of cilantro um, and not take any chlorella. I would just limit, even if you are going to take chlorella, I wouldn't overdo it on the cilantro anyways. I would just do a little bit uh, because some people can experience some negative effects as well. Like You may not feel very well um, if you're doing this, if you're trying to detoxify. So do it kind of gently and slowly and let your body you know, tell you how it's doing and be very cautious if you have amalgam I think is how you say it fillings which are they look like metallic fillings in your teeth they have mercury in them then you you definitely don't want to try this because it can pull the mercury into your body so you definitely don't want to do anything like that if you have those kinds of fillings in your teeth another thing that I like to add in my juices is zucchini that works great. You can also do squash. I haven't done that yet. Not the hard kind of like winter squash, but the softer one that kind of looks like a zucchini, but it's yellow. So that you can do, I know. And then for a little bit of a better flavor, you can add lemons, limes, um, or grapefruit. All of those work great without adding lots of sugar to your juice and give it a nice flavor. I love lemons. Limes tend to, for some reason, I don't taste the limes as well in my juice as I do the lemons. So I like the lemons better. I will mix it up. Grapefruit I have done once and I have not done it since because I really don't like the taste of grapefruit. It's really quite bitter and I personally don't enjoy that. But if you like grapefruit, that might, you know, be nice for you. And I peel them and, you know, cut them up before I put them in my juicer. I don't do the peel of them because that can have citrus essential or that does have <laughs> citrus essential oils which are quite strong and you don't want too many of those. Oh and by the way it ends up usually for me being a cup like I feel like this 
It was big, like one of those glass cups <laughs> full of juice. So that's how much in terms of volume that I will drink. And I tend to not do it every single day. I might do a few days in a row and then take a few days off, but um, I try to do it maybe like every other day so that it's not too much, especially since I'm kind of new to it. I definitely don't want to overdo it. Um, and you are getting a lot of nutrients all at once. So especially if your body's not used to that, you might need to kind of approach it slower. It's not something that you need to do every day. It's going to be a huge benefit to you if you haven't done it at all. And now you're doing it, even if you're doing it like very little, you just start out with like once a week, it's still going to be very beneficial for you. You don't have to do it every day by any means. Um, and I don't plan on doing it every day because I don't want to overdo it. But that's kind of how I feel about it. That's my little two cents and my little warning as well. Beware and read about what you're juicing and if there's any negative effects, especially if you plan on juicing it quite a bit and having it often. So that's it. I just wanted to share it with you because I think it's great. Um, and it makes me feel great, it makes me feel healthy and energized, and I just think it's a wonderful thing. It's a great pick-me-up. It's great if you feel like you're getting sick and you need a little extra help to, you know, maybe not catch that cold or if you already caught it, recover quickly. So I just wanted to share it with you because I think it's a wonderful, healthy thing, and I think it goes great with the whole theme of natural healthy eating that I've been doing a few videos on that subject lately on my channel. So I wanted to do that and share that with you and thank you so much for watching. I hope that was helpful to you and I will see you next time. Bye.